Welcome back to Moyers Entertainment. I would like to preface this video saying I'm drunk off my ass off the rest of my tequila. See, I do these drunk streams on twitch.tv slash toilet john. See that subtle plug in to my other shit that I do? Go subscribe to follow and view it because let's be honest you love me i love me leave a comment down below about how much you love me but besides that we're ranking mcu characters drunk off my ass so let's get started <clears throat> chris pratt is an easy one he is top tier he was on parks and rec and he showed up naked show the clip i don't know why drunk me is making demands out of sober me but i'm gonna play the clip anyway baby i'm back thank you so what why are you naked? Oh! Well, because of what you said, we're getting back together. No, we're not. Yes, we are. You should also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and leave something down below that we should rank next. Thank you. <laughs> so I've seen that baby boy nude as a feather, and I just got to say one thing. Game recognizes game, bro. I listen. My my body goal type is a fat Chris Pratt, and I'm basically living that life. If you're a fat Chris Pratt, then you're not doing too bad. Listen, I'm funny, I'm handsome, I'm a fat Chris Pratt. That's all I know, and that's all I need to be. Next character. Wong is top tier. Wong is the strongest Avenger and the strongest Sorcerer. Even though the Doctor Sorcerer Supreme Strange is probably more capable. Wong is just Wong, bro. He's Wong. Is that Wong? Yes, it is. Because Wong is S tier. That's what we're saying. You know what I don't get? How there's like three different Hulks. Because this is just Bruce Banner twice. So because of that, we're putting fucking Bruce Banner and Iron Man suit at D. He was useless and no one fucking cares. We're also going to put Smart Hulk at D because the way he acted when Wanda died after they met Red Skull was pretty pathetic. So Hulk with Bruce's mind goes to D. Which reminds me, Bruce Banner also goes to D because come on Bruce, Hulk needs some time to rage out. You got to be stronger than that. Let him get out his rage Stop throwing little benches. Like, th play the clip. This fucker just keeps demanding things out of me. What? Whatever. Play the clip. <laughs> if the love of my life died and all I had to show for it was throwing a tiny ass bench, I would give up on life. So that's why Bruce Banner is at D. And we're putting Hulk at D too. Because, let's be honest. No, we're going to put him at A. Because... Let, hear me out. Watch this scene. I've been looking at Hulk clips for the last hour. What fucking scene, John? That's a pretty fucking good scene. That means Hulk is at A. And that brings us to Loki, the god of mischief. You know, I know a, a man of mischief myself, but he's a little more mischievous. And, well, he has a, a way with his tongue. Uh, we're going to put him at tier S. Because you gotta respect a man who knows what he's about. He was one of the best villains in the MCU, and he still continues to be one of my favorite characters. Let's continue. Akron goes at B, because he, he made a pretty good impact on Peter Quall. But, you know, there was better characters than Yondu. Let's be honest. But he was pretty good, so we're gonna put him at B. Thank you, Akron, for sacrificing your life. I'm in poppin', y'all! Nick Fury goes at D because he's a scroll, and I don't know if he's been a scroll for the entire MCU, which is concerning. So if he wasn't a scroll the entire MCU, he goes at like A. But if he was a scroll the entire time, he goes at D. Next person we're ranking is Quicksilver. He's an S, because if anyone can block bullets like he does. You want him on your team. He is better than Captain America's shield. He is like every good thing about someone who can take a hit to the face. He never seen it coming. And honestly, let's just play play some of his best moments on camera. He didn't see that coming. Honestly, it's a pretty good moment. And if I were to die like that, I mean, if I were to live to that point, I'd be pretty impressed. 
Hawkeye is the strongest Avenger. That's why he's going at S. If anyone wants to challenge me on that, I will battle you in the street, on the highway, at noon. Rhodey goes at tier A. He's a good friend to Iron Man, and he's also been there. He has never changed once and never has hurt Tony. He's always been a good bro. And for good bros, we put him at A. Groot goes at D. He should have lived longer. Other Groot goes at S because of Dad. That's just how it works. Ant-Man goes to S because he could crawl up Thanos' ass, get big, and destroy his colon. That's my fan fiction for Endgame. That's how it should have ended with Ant-Man crawling up Thanos' bum hole. That's how we do it. Pepper Potts, they go at B because women are important. And this woman is very important to Tony. And we're going to put Tony right next to them. Tony may have figured out time travel, but they need to be with the woman because they make the pair. And now they have a daughter. What's the daughter going to do in the MCU? Who knows? But Tony is also dead, so he has to be put at B. We love Robert Downey Jr. We love Pepper Potts. It, it's a, it's a match to, matched in heaven. Doctor Strange is performing emergency surgery somewhere, probably in San Francisco. So we're going to put them at tier S because honestly, Doctor Strange is pretty good. He's become one of my favorite Marvel heroes. And I've actually wanted to buy comics just to read more Doctor Strange stories. So that's a pretty good start. Pretty great start if you ask me. Nebula, they're more robot than woman. They go at tier D. Gamora, they're more man than woman. They go to tier D. Wanda... They got trauma, and when you got trauma, you go at tier A. Just, just realize, if you have trauma, then you're at least near the Hulk and Rhodey. Because you're at least paralyzed, or your anger gets the best of you. That's just the way it works. Okay, so we gotta put the Falcon at tier A, and we gotta put Steve right next to him. Because Steve is always on the left of the... Oh, we gotta put him over here. Steve is always on the left of the Falcon. And Falcon is always on the left of the Steve. So as long as we have this pairing, nothing can go wrong. And Bucky's gonna be staring down at B, up at Steve. Because he's jealous of the bromance that Steve and the Falcon have created. Listen... Steve loves Bucky, and Bucky loves Steve, but this guy, the Falcon, has gotten in the way of their bromance. So, Steve has to decide which tier he's going to be at. But I think he's going to stay at tier A, because he did not give the shield to the Winter Soldier. He gave it to the Falcon to be the next uh, Captain America. But now a guy named John's Captain America? That shit ain't going to last. Come on, we all know that guy's going to end up being some sort of racist. Alright, let's keep going. Thor we're gonna put at C because honestly the only good like I had to suffer through like Thor the Dark World to get the Thor Ragnarok we should just say that Dark World never happened in the canon of the MCU and just decide all together that Dark World is the worst MCU film it's worse than the Hulk films like even the ones that aren't a part of the MCU they, they're just fucking awful so for that reason you're at tier C Black Widow tier S I'm not going to comment on why they're on tier S and more because I can't wait for the black widow movie coming out. Please go watch it. Respect women. Don't objectify them for their body. On that note, the man, the myth, the legend, Jacoba, but, uh, we'll put him at S little baby Groot. That's a tier S. I can, every time I look at him, I can just hear Mr. Blue sky, Mr. Blue sky. Give me a dream. Make him the cutest that I've ever So he's at tier S. This guy is the guy who sees with the... He was in Thor Dark World, so we're going to put him at C as well. Because, my God, Thor Dark World should burn in a pit of hell. This guy's really funny. We're going to put him at A. He's kind of ineffective, though. And I haven't really seen him do anything useful. He's just been kind of a menace to society. So that's why he's at tier A. Captain Marvel. Didn't like the movie. Tier D. I'm sure they will round out your character and they tr they have done it with some of the characters that were in Captain Marvel. But it still didn't make Captain Marvel the best film. You know what? Captain Marvel is an okay film. We're going to put him at tier B. Because, you know, like, now there's competition. Now the Winter Soldier is looking at them. And now Steve's like, oh my god, am I getting jealous of, like, his relationship with captain marvel spider-man is awesome spider-man is an immediate trs i don't care what anyone says listen we all love toby mcguire and we kind of liked andrew garfield but 
Tom Holland, he's going to at least get to a third Spider-Man film. He's gotten more screen time and more development. It's not exactly Spider-Man as we know him, but he is a good Spider-Man. The Vision, we're going to put it next to Wanda, which is, where's Wanda at? Wanda is the green girl, I think. So Vision is going to tier D because he is a cyclopedia. He's like Siri. If Siri never shut the fuck up. The wise one goes at C because they died. I think of, not of cancer. I don't know why my first mind was cancer, but they did die in a hospital bed with no hair. I genuinely think I was thinking of Peter Quill's mom. I don't know why. But I just had to mention that because there's so much in this video that's just unexplainable. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We love you, the wise one, and you're very wise, and we love your sacrifice. This girl, she is ugly. She is a bug. We're put a med A. Raccoon Man. D. Valkyrie. Also D. Pretty cool, though. You, you guys are going to go to tier S. And then you... B and that continues my my thrilling this isn't all the Marvel characters my god where where even is the rest of them I I don't even where's Zemo at Zemo is a big name you know god if not Zemo where where's the rest of the heroes where's oh god where's Thanos and and Whiplash Where's Mr. Hammer for Hammer Industries? This is not all the MCU characters. But I do hope you enjoyed me ranking them drunk. Uh, thank you for watching the video. And as always, I'll see you later. Goodbye.